glorious morning in the Brecon Vikings today. Well, it will be when the cloud lifts. So, three of us squished in this little cosy three man tent last night after an epic drive to get here in the dark following many pretty lights. So now, it's time for coffee. Let's go find the rest of the crew. It was a quiet start on the campsite that morning, but pretty soon people started to emerge and we tucked into some breakfast. Let me introduce you to the crew. I was gonna say, if you've got to First up, there's B, my cousin. A keen sailor and lover of all things outdoors, she was the one who invited me along for this little adventure. She was also pretty good at these spinny things. Next up, there's Lorna. Friend of B and master of all things funny, she was a great spirit to have along. <laughs> It's a good luck, that. <laughs> this is Dot, Bee's mum. Super cool and super on it, she always made sure we had what we needed and were well looked after. Oh, got... <laughs> Last up, there's Steve, Bee's dad and husband to Dot. He loves motorcycles, <laughs> hiking, sailing and good food. Oh, and this is a nice dog I made friends with. Our plan for the day was to venture to the top of Penny Fan and complete the famous horseshoe walk. Little did we know, though, the day would turn out somewhat different to expected. Hello! Hello! Ask you. It's not 100 miles an hour. Losing altitude. We're driving to the top. We headed out to the car park and the beginning of our walk, or so we thought. And the light in the morning was just incredible. We knew we were in for a good day. Oh, I think. Oh my car. Oh, there's like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a great start. <laughs> we headed along the first ascent at a steady pace, soaking in the sun and enjoying the sound of the waterfall alongside. We made sure to stop often and take in the views behind, stretching far out across the Brecon Beacons. It was just incredible. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Heading up to the ridge and from there, head on to Penny Fan. See how we get on. Once at the top of the ridge, we just kept pressing on, still somehow oblivious to our serious mistake, even though we kept checking the map. That's stunning. The surrounding mountain ridge was just such a sight to behold. It was clearly messing with our heads. The last time we came here, we were in shorts and t-shirts on the bottom. I saw you, I saw you. I saw you. Aren't they? Look at the stack there. I mean, that comes up and it is all slate. <laughs> That's so cool. Are you doing the pass? Sometimes you get tadpoles in these. Huh? Oh look, there are tadpoles in it. Yeah, look at them all swimming about. There's lots of them. Marsh frogs. A little further on and we joined a really clear track and somehow managed to convince ourselves that Penny Fan, the highest mountain in Wales, was just to the right of us. Genuinely looking back, I cannot make sense of our seemingly lack of awareness on the day. This is a path. Well, what do you think, B? It's a guinea pig. A, gu a guinea it? pig? Can you see it? There's his eye, there's his nose. Oh my god. <laughs> guinea pig. Okay, that one. That's brilliant. <laughs> god, is that really the fire causing all of that? I reckon. That's a big fire. As the smoke of a pretty decent sized wildfire rose behind us, we gradually realised that something was amiss with our trail as the main path began to fizzle out. Nice one. 
Our feelings of uncertainty grew until we bumped into yeah. another family who were out walking and we asked for some clarity. Basically, we are not where we thought we were. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. So we must so have, we so now? we've come up this. Uh, I know where are we are. <laughs> so, uh, wrong horseshoe, Penny fans over there. <laughs> okay, B, would you like to have a spoon? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. It's not, it's not our fault. <laughs> Or is it's no one's fault. It's the car park's fault. It wasn't named right. Yeah. yeah. It appears that we started from the wrong car park. Yeah. And therefore yeah. follows what we thought was the correct path, but with an entirely different ridge. Mm -hmm. Looking at an entirely different river. Different, and, um, different, different the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we joked about it, I can honestly say this was one of the biggest navigational learning experiences I have ever had, and I think back on it often. Now when I'm out navigating, I ensure I'm reading the landscape yeah. accurately and really know where I am. Oh, <laughs> See the fire over there? There doesn't seem to be anybody like attending to it. There's no like helicopters. <laughs> Good food. Salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We stopped to cook up some lunch and look over the map. The weather was just fantastic and we felt fit and energised, so we agreed as a team to press on on our original walk, up to Penny Fan and Corn Dew. It was good to be up high on such a clear day and we felt thankful for the wilder areas of the UK that allowed us such freedom. The Brecon's National Park was actually established in 1957 and was the 10th area to be given such status, covering 520 square miles. As we pressed on along the escarpment to Penny Fan, the highest point in southern Britain, we kept a close eye on the wildfire stretching out ahead of us. We found out through the news that it covered five miles, and it wasn't until later that day that we saw helicopters attending to it. Eventually we began to ascend Penny Fan, meaning top of this place in Welsh. The summit and secondary peak, Corn Dew, were previously called King Arthur's Chair, as legend tells of the king helping the people of Brecon deal with some pesky wild boars. The trail was very busy given the good weather, but it was nice to connect with people from around the world, each on the same mission to reach the summit. We generally kept a relaxed pace, until B and I got a little bit competitive. Do you? What was that? Oh yeah, come on in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a rock there. <laughs> I have a rock in my bag. <laughs> Where's the top? <laughs> Where is the top? <laughs> joint effort, joint effort. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh. Good effort. Boom. At 886 metres above sea level, the views from the flat top summit unravelled for miles over the spectacular Welsh countryside. It was a truly humbling experience and we really felt elated. Oh. Put it there. Good effort. Woo! We made it. We did it. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Yeah. After a quick check of the map, we made a group decision to press on along the ridge and our original walk for the day, down towards the reservoir below. E and I were still feeling fresh, so we decided to quickly tackle Corn Dew at 873 metres above sea level. Going up. Ah! Yeah, bye! <laughs> Secretly we're going down that ridge. <laughs> Thank you. 
like that bit. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> what a view, eh? Aww. Fishing in the views. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Descending back down as quickly yeah. as we had climbed up, we reunited with the rest of the crew and continued to make our way along the escarpment that stretched out in front of us. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, you went the centre all the way. I didn't see that rock. <laughs> it was getting late into the day, and the crowd slowly dissipated, leaving a blissfully peaceful trail. Conversation dropped as we each reflected on the challenges faced that day, and yet we'd overcome them by working together as a team. <laughs> With our eyes set on the reservoir below, it quickly became apparent that the silence was being broken by the sound of a helicopter. Oh yeah! Okay people, there is a helicopter at the reservoir getting water to take it to the fire to try and put it out. The fire that we are walking towards. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Pretty soon we were descending our way down from the ridge, with the helicopter still flying to and fro above us, attending to the fire. Oh, it's like a proper bucket! Whoa! And there is the reservoir. The reservoir had been partly drained earlier that year in order to protect the Grade 2 listed dam structure for future use. It was a great place to stop for a final rest before our last push back to the car. Hmm. <laughs> I thought you were opening my one. <laughs> Pulling that forward. There you go. That's a gun. I'm coming round. Can't work out. What is the. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Mum, we can see the car! Woohoo! And it's downhill to it! Woohoo! Thank you for that! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> With the sun sitting low in the sky, we finally caught sight of the car, relieved to have made it back and humbled by our time in the Welsh mountains. Even though we were weary, we were still planning our next adventure. Who knew where it would take us? Today we're going to be making camp saute potatoes. Now, if you've got a twig, that can be used as a knife as well. <laughs> if not, a knife is preferable. Or you can snap a toothbrush in half, sharpen it into a shank and use that. Then we're just going to add some light butter. And have them with some veggie sausages. <laughs> <laughs> 